Hey guys, so we just have some new leaks for the Tesla Model 3 performance or ludicrous or should I call it insane? Because that's one of the performance modes that the new ludicrous is said to have. It's also going to have suspension. Now, I've mentioned the suspension previously, but I didn't realize that actually the suspension is very different to what I thought. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Now, if you want to see my recent incident, why I'm, um, yeah, why I'm, I'm, I'm injured, broken foot, have to keep my leg up for two weeks. I'm sitting in a very awkward position here, kind of all scrunched up because I've got to keep my leg up. Anyhow, moving on. The Tesla Model 3 Ludicrous. I call it Ludicrous, but I mean, it would be fair to call it something else. I mean, realistically, apparently the performance mode, having a look at the UI, so the actual screen, you can choose three different performance settings in the Model 3 Ludicrous. You can choose Chill, Sport, or Insane. So strangely, even though the Model 3 has the Ludicrous badge on the back of the vehicle, there's no Ludicrous mode, there's Insane mode, but that's for dynamics. So here's every, every, pretty much everything we know so far. Just quickly encapsulated for you guys, there's three drive modes, Chill, Sport, and Insane, but not Ludicrous active suspension there's two suspension modes standard and sport so it looks like the suspension you can actually change uh, the settings of the suspension which you've never been able to do before previously in a tesla model 3 or a model y it has auto shift between dr um, drive and reverse that's developer mode only though it automatically shifts between forward and reverse it can read your mind using space x telepathy I'm kidding, it, it doesn't really do that. You don't need an inserted chip in your brain to drive the car. I'm not, I'm not actually too sure how the car is able to um, automatically go in drive or reverse. Um, but anyway, Tesla have talked about that in the past. Pedals and steering settings tab is now renamed to Dynamics, similar to the Cybertruck. It's codenamed Poppy Seed. For some strange reason, this vehicle was called, you know, Tesla Model 3 was called Highland. This is called Poppy Seed. <laughs> it doesn't sound like what i would have thought it would be called i mean poppy seeds don't they get heroin from poppy seeds? anyway ludicrous space balls badge is in the software menu you can see it on both screens when you accelerate fast obviously it gives you this um, crazy screen uh, it was built in fremont this particular performance uh, model 3 built in fremont so we have seen this chinese versions already made this one was made in fremont it has the carbon dash so the carbon dashboard it has the ventilated sport bucket seats. The seats are completely different to any other Tesla vehicle released so far. They are much more like what you see in a proper performance car, like something you would see in say, not quite what you'd see in a Porsche GT3 RS, but going in that direction, you know, going into the sport GT type cars. There is more aggressive front fascia styling, lower splitters and extended carbon fiber rear spoiler I think the spoiler looks good, but a lot of people are saying it doesn't look aggressive enough. They think it should be more crazy over the top in your face to really announce the fact that I've arrived in my Tesla Model 3 ludicrous. Everyone look at me. Honestly, guys, I'm not really into that personally. I don't think many people who want to spend this kind of money, you know, you're looking at what, 60,000 US dollars. I don't think there's too many people spending that kind of money really want to be in gone, you know, Fast and the Furious. I don't think they want to be a Fast and the Furious boy racer. So in my opinion, the subtle look is great. You know, a lot of people have been complaining that it's too subtle on social media, but that's my take. I'm not into that at all, that, that whole having a big wing on the back of your car makes your car look fast. You know, usually people with big wings on the back of their cars, usually the car is actually pretty slow. It sounds really loud. It's got a massive exhaust, but it's actually slow as hell. So subtle is nice. For me, the Hyundai Ioniq 5, I love the look of the Ioniq 5, guys. What do you think though? Because I think the Ioniq 5N it's too boy racer for me. It's too, um, yeah, I don't like the style. I think they kind of ruined the Ionic 5 styling when they added all the kind of weird side bits to it, made it wider. I'm not into that. Anyhow, getting back to the Model 3 Ludicrous. You can see the UI in action here. This was a, obviously, uh, someone driving the car has taken a quick video, very brief video, but it shows some of the features. These include carbon fiber dash inlay, insane mode acceleration setting, 
and also the ludicrous mode badge in the infotainment system. Other features that you can see, auto shift, and yeah, like, like I said, I think the suspension is a really interesting part here. And one of the reasons Tesla have obviously changed the suspension is because the new motor in the rear is much more powerful than the previous motor. It's got 110 more horsepower. And Tesla needed the car to be able to handle that extra horsepower. Plus, Tesla want this car to handle really well. So basically, I believe this, this adaptive suspension is what it sounds like it's going to have. It's going to be able to stiffen up the suspension. In addition to that, we know it has 2170 Panasonic batteries, a CATL 16 volt low voltage lithium ion battery, performance chassis, PUR premium seats, and yeah, the active suspension that I previously mentioned. It's gonna be really cool to see how this can take on, say the Kia EV6 GT, and also the Hyundai Ioniq 5. Out of those three, I mean, which one do you think would be, would interest you the most, for example? Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.